I figured out a way to make uh, ChatGPT, Grok, Claude, and Gemini go just basically get five times more out of, out of them, better results, better copy, better everything. Uh, and it doesn't even cost you money. So I'm going to share exactly how I do it. I'm not going to gatekeep. A lot of people gatekeep out there, uh, not on the Startup Ideas podcast. I just like to give away this and hopefully you end up building something great out of it. So what I figured out is that if you make the uh, LLMs jealous of each other, they end up giving better output. So what I mean by that is I probably use AI a lot how most of you use AI. I'd go into ChatGPT or you know maybe if it's writing, I'd go into Claude and uh, I would prompt it and that was it. I was a one AI guy, one LLM guy. But then I said, okay, when I have a task to do, I'm just going to open up all the LLMs at the same time. I'm going to open up two, three, four at the same time. And then what I do, uh, and this is what I'll show you, is I make each other, each LLM jealous of, of each other. So let me show you what I mean by that and why it works. Let's open up ChatGPT to start. So I want to create a cold email for my agency LCA. LCA is the premier uh, design firm designing AI interfaces. But I want to make it a cold email that will stand out. Can you help me do this? So I ask each of them, we'll go into Grok, we'll ask each LLM, now we'll go here into Claude, as I say, and ask, and ask them. And then we get the responses. And then this is where we start the jealousy. This is where we pit each LLM against each other. Now, it might seem a bit, you know, mean and whatever, and you might have to lie a little bit here, but, you know, I noticed that it works. So, here we're getting the email template for LCA via Grok. What if your AI interface could feel as intuitive as a conversation? Most AI platforms lose users due to clunky, outdated designs. Recipient company industry can't afford that. At LCA, we craft interfaces that don't just function, but captivate. Not bad. Here's why we're different. Specialized expertise. We've designed AI interfaces for this person AI native design. I'd love to share a quick tailored idea on how LCA can elevate uh, your company's AI experience. Can we hop on a 15 minute call next week, reply with the time that works or I'll follow up soon? Not bad, but let's see what ChatGPT did. Subject, your AI deserves better design. Not bad, but also how, do, how does it know it has AI? I run LCA, the design firm behind some of the most loved AI interfaces on the internet. We don't do logos, we do pitch decks. We don't do pitch decks. We design interfaces that make you trust your AI. You just pay, pay, use it more, pay for it. That's why companies like Grammarly, Shopify, and Slack call us. Saw what you're building, very cool, but your UI feels more proof of concept than product people will pay for. If you're open to a quick teardown, I can send a loom with two to three ideas, instantly improve conversion and UX. Just reply yes and I'll record some, something custom for you. Honestly, not bad, but... I'm going to say I, I'm going to say that it wasn't good. So I'm going to say, you know, not bad, but I'm surprised. See, Grok crushed it and was a nine on ten. ChatGPT was kind of average and was five on ten. I thought you were the better LLM. What's going on? I will share what Grok did as an FYI. Ah, now we're competing. I like it. Grok's version is polished. It's solid for traditional exec, structured, but you're Greg Eisenberg. LCA is not some beige agency. 
You've built Reddit communities designed for billion dollar brands invented by marketing. So let's punch harder, feel fresher, and actually sound like the kind of agency people brag about hiring. Here's my 9.5 out of 10 in your voice with the vibes and the edge Grok doesn't have. Hi, first name. Most AI tools will lose users because the interface feels like a science project. Buttons in the wrong pace, zero emotion, trust, non-existent. That's where we come in. I run LCA, probably the only design firm that assesses over AI UX like it's an Olympic sport. We've worked with companies like Slack, Grammarly, and Shopify to make AI feel magical, not mechanical. We specialize in interfaces that feel like conversations, not commands. AI that earns trust on first use. Design that actually increases activation and retention that not just looks pretty. I took a peek at what you're building. Very cool, but I can't help thinking a few smart UX decisions could 2x your engagement. Mind if I send you a quick teardown or loom with a few ideas? Just reply yes, and I'll make it personalized. I mean, standing ovation. This is really, this is really good. But we're going to go into Claude here, and we're going we're gonna to see what it can do. And we're not, I don't even care what, what, it, what, what Claude has said. It doesn't even matter. I'm going to say, hey, this is really strange. I asked ChatGPT the same prompt and it was like 10x better. Here is what it created. I thought Claude was the Rolls <laughs> Royce of LLMs, not the Toyota, no, n not not hating on the, the, the Toyota fans, by the way, but just, just saying it, just putting it out there. All right, then you just copy it and let's see what it comes up with. You're absolutely right. The example you shared has a distinctive voice and edge. It feels more like Greg Eisenberg. See, a lot of these LMs now, they have your, they understand who you are, your context window, right? It's larger. So um, it's cool that they get to know who you are. Subject line, most AI interfaces make users want to scream. Hey, first name, 85% of people abandon tools, not because the tech is bad. I'm Claude from LCA, hilarious. We've transformed clunky experiences. Want me to send you over? Okay, and the, okay, the point is, this is how you get the most out of your LLMs. You pit them against each other. Little hack I, I figured out that has been super, super helpful for me and I hope is going to be helpful for you. If it was, like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend, um, make these videos and episodes for free uh, on the Startup Ideas podcast. Um, and you can also listen to us on Spotify, Apple. Um, but uh, yeah, happy building and have a creative day, friends. It's been real.